All right, here's the uh, low down and dirty mock-up. I was uh, really curious about how the exhaust was going to fit with the different years. And uh, all for all, zip ties and all. It looks close enough that I'm going to be able to make it work. For some reason, this has a gap, but... I'm going to machine a spacer, and that gap will be gone. Um, motor, boom, right in. Everything with the uh, swing arm bolt to the motor mount bolts down below uh, worked really good, fit good. Radiators, fitting good. Only thing that wasn't fitting good was the uh, stock mounts that I had off my 08, and then the uh, seller of the frame gave me these mounts and these end up being too long and he gave me these like hacked up ones that uh you know they got some bubblegum welds and everything you know like someone was in there doing some custom work well lo and behold those end up fitting so hmm, go figure um let's see what else did i hook up hooked up the brake Everything's looking good there. Got my clutch cylinder stuck between the frame, but I can still move it so it's not squished. Two big comp or not complications. Oh, and here's the third thing: swing arm bolt. Looks like I just have to grind that just a little bit to be able to get it to seat in there. Just hitting a little tiny bit. Um, unless I find a swing arm bolt cheap enough, you just Never know when you're looking. Um, so, machine a spacer for the tailpipe. Oh, and the uh, here's the upper shock bolt for the uh, rear PDS shock. Well, part of weight savings is now they have a smaller shock bolt for their and I was trying to think what to do as far as should I drill that bigger and retap it, or should I, you know, oh, or should I see if I can replace these bushings with ones out of a 2014 shock? I think. Either of those will work. What I might end up doing, though, is buying a rear shock bolt for the 2014 and machining a collar spacer that will basically sit on the bolt and make up the difference between the new bolt and the old bolts. So it'll just end up being a little sleeve. So <laughs> a sleeve here and a sleeve there. And uh, I think everything's good so far. I was... Yeah, a little concerned about the exhaust and everything, and uh, I already know the plastics are fitting. I'm not concerned about anything to do with the triple clamps and front from the front tube forward. I'm not concerned about. It was all up in here, so making way, making progress. I was almost gonna buy a 2014 rear swing arm. You know, two hundred fifty dollars. Stuff like that starts, you know, adding up, making a somewhat budget transformation into a more expensive project that I could have, in the end, if I added up all this money, I could have just put in some more money and bought a whole complete bike. So I'm still trying to keep it budget friendly and I'm trying to not complicate things. What about if I buy a new swing arm? And now all of a sudden my rear brake uh, fitting don't fit. Or, you know, the uh, this part. You know, then I got to go buy one of those. You know, just little things can add up. And I'm trying not to make this a super bona fide build. I, if I wanted to do that, I would just have bought a bike and tore it down and built it how I wanted. So this is just supposed to be a little bit of an upgrade with the looks. Some improvements on the suspension, better geometry on the frame, which, and this is a possibility, 
if so the 2008 ktm 200 was based on a smaller size frame and i have this in the back of my head what about if the rear swing arm was also extended longer whenever they went to the big frame stuff so this should be the big frame or is the big frame so i'm gonna have to do a comparison between my new bike and this one and see you know are we talking about a little tiny bit or are we talking you know about what but if you look i do have a good amount of room for adjustment so if we're talking about you know a half inch difference between where the axle's sitting between this setup and the other setup oh i can get a half inch off that so i'm not too too concerned but the, you know just always thinking and thinking um but I'm happy with the progress. I just had a long day. Oh, God, get this. Went up north. Story time. This is story time. Went up north. Oh, all right, hang on. I forgot one last big thing I have to do. Figure out if my air box is going to work with this. I might have to get a different air box. So I should have put that in before I did this. Anyways, back to story time. Dun, dun, dun. I'm up north. Friday night. Went skiing at, I don't know, Grayling Hills or something like that. Um, went snowmobiling. Got stuck. Had to freaking try lifting and pulling out this double up uh, snowmobile. And just had a really long day. Ready for bed. Go to sleep. Wake up at midnight. I know I'm going to throw up if I move at all. But I'm like, after 20 minutes of laying in bed, I figure I might as well just get up and get this over with. So I get up, I throw up. Blah! I'm only like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet from the, uh, from the toilet. So, you know, not a big deal. I puke like four times. All right, cool. Got that out of my system. And I puked a lot. Ha! <laughs> Lo and behold, I ended up doing that like six times throughout the whole night. I'm just like, oh my God. So just a low grade fever and puking all night long. And you know, with uh, stomach flu comes some other stuff. So I'm up here. It had to be about two, three in the morning. My dad had the water off in the cabin. And you had to use buckets of water for flushing stuff. And the bucket that had a little bit of water in it, that's the one I'm puking in. <laughs> oh, God. So I have to wake up my dad at 2, 3 in the morning because this water source of some frozen spigot thing is outside. And I don't know where. So wake him up, which I'm sure the whole house had to hear me puking. So luckily... As a 24-hour flu, I puked the next morning, all water, and puked in the car ride home. That was fun. I had a garbage bag right between my legs. Blah! Puking. I'm like, all right, I feel better now. That's what I get for driving down I-75, hitting all those little uh, repair spots. So it was like, roof, roof, roof. My stomach's going, oh, man. All right, so that's it. This is today's progress. Trying to uh, get things going. I also got some new stuff for the KTM 300. And even got some more stuff going on with the KTM 300. So, going to have some excitement going on. Just need to uh, take some of the excitement and also get back to eating healthy and working out. Because we don't have much time till race day. Burp, burp, burp. That's it. It's pony down. Say not feet of saying.